thunder of drums and the roar of engines shattered the chill Pyongyang night as North Korea unveiled what it called its most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile yet, the Hwasong-20, during a grand military parade presided over by Kim Jong-un. Mounted on an 11-axle launcher truck, the colossal missile rolled across Kim Il-sung Square under floodlights, making its public debut before an audience that included top officials from China, Russia, Vietnam and other nations. According to the state-run Korean Central News Agency, KCNA, the Hwasong-20 is the regime's most powerful nuclear strategic weapon system. Equipped with a carbon fiber solid fuel engine generating 1,971 kilonewtons of thrust, it marks a major leap in North Korea's long-range strike capability. Analysts believe the missile could carry multiple nuclear warheads, a feature Kim has urged his military to develop to defeat enemy defenses. Depending on its payload, the Hwasong-20 could travel up to 10 Vigla 400 kilometers, potentially placing most of the continental United States within range. The parade, marking the 80th anniversary of the founding of the ruling Workers' Party of Korea, WBPK, displayed an array of North Korea's advanced weapons, including long-range strategic cruise missiles, hypersonic systems and drone launch vehicles. Yet the spotlight remained on the Hwasong-20, described by KCNA as the pinnacle of the country's nuclear ambitions. The missile's appearance followed weeks of build-up from Pyongyang. On September 1st, Kim inspected the production of a new high-powered solid fuel engine for the Hwasong-20, KCNA reported, confirming the next-generation ICBM's development after last year's Hwasong-19 tests. State media said the new engine, also intended for the Hwasong-19, produces up to 1,960 kilonewtons of thrust, enough to support a multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, MERV system, allowing a single missile to strike several targets simultaneously. Experts note that such technology would make interception far more difficult, giving Pyongyang's arsenal a stronger chance of breaching advanced missile defense systems. The parade also carried unmistakable symbolism. It came just a month after Kim stood shoulder to shoulder with Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping at a military parade in Beijing, a show of unity among Moscow, Beijing and Pyongyang against what they call Western dominance. After the parade, Kim delivered a fiery address, declaring North Korea a faithful member of socialist forces and a bulwark for independence against Western pressure, KCNA reported. He vowed to advance both nuclear and conventional forces, promising a new military policy at the upcoming party congress. Among the foreign dignitaries present was Dmitry Medvedev, deputy head of Russia's Security Council and a close ally of President Putin. According to Russian state news agencies, Medvedev thanked Pyongyang for its support of Moscow's military campaign in Ukraine, a sign of tightening cooperation between the two nations. Reports suggest North Korea has deployed around 16,000 troops to aid Russia's war effort. Analysts say the display served dual purposes, to assure North Koreans of Kim's growing military strength and to warn adversaries, particularly Washington, of the country's expanding capabilities. The debut of the Hwasong-20, they note, marks a defining moment in North Korea's weapons program, a calculated blend of technological progress and open defiance aimed at reshaping the balance of power. <laughs>